Hi, guys and gals. Al Smith here. Today, we're going to talk about what uh, responder bids after the uh, uh, right-hand opponent interferes uh, after your partner opens one of the suit. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at this. We're going to make some assumptions. This is a fairly advanced uh, uh, lesson. So we're going to assume that you are using uh, conventions to allow you to distinguish between three and four card support if your partner opened a major suit and it's overcalled at the one level. You know, for example, one heart is overcalled one, one spade or one no trump. Okay, we're going to assume that you're using a, a Bergen-like uh, uh, convention that shows four plus card support for if, the, if the jump bid is available. And since there are different Bergen vari variations, I recommend the, the versions uh, that you use is the one that's in the one heart and one spade responses, of course, that's available on the uh, uh, on our website. So, and you know, just as a comment, the seven to nine point Bergen raise is not recommended to be used at all. And, and needless to say, even Marty Bergen, who actually invented this, doesn't use it either and doesn't recommend its use. Okay. Now, the partnership also needs to determine what to use if the opponents interfere after a minor suit open. This is uh, inverted minors are generally not used after interference. And then the number of required uh, cards required in, uh, in, to support the minor suit needs to be defined, especially if you're using a short club. So all of these little details make a difference and are something that you and your partner need to discuss and come to agreement on. Okay, and what we're going to also talk about, uh, we're assuming, is that the, the, the Jordan 2 no Trump is, or some call it the, the Truscott no, no Trump, is being used after the takeoff double for both majors and minors. So let's go ahead and take a look at the various pieces of the puzzle that uh, you need to understand so you have a full understanding of what... Uh, the bidding, uh, different bids mean after uh, uh, the bidding sequence. Here we use one X. X denotes a, a, a suit at the one level, and we've got one slash two Y. That says the uh, direct seat is overcalling at the one level or the two Y, two level in a in Y, which could be a suit or no trump. And then obviously the question mark says, well, what in the heck is the responder supposed to do? So let's assume that uh, we're going to define what those questions mark means. Well, if the responder passes, he's got less than or equal five distribution points. Okay, pretty straightforward, pretty standard. Okay, if the responder doubles, this is going to be the negative double. We discussed this in the prior lesson. And what it indicates is got four plus ca four cards in, uh, in one or both of the majors and potentially in a minor suit. Okay, and I'll let the details of that uh, be addressed in the prior lesson. Okay, if they've been one of the new suit. Okay, what they're indicating is we've got five plus cards in that suit, typically, and six plus length points. You know, it's one exception when you might have uh, three of the top four cards in a, in a four card suit and choose to overcall in that, but that doesn't happen very often. So just be aware that it does happen. And when the overcaller does, Bid a new suit at the one level, it's forcing. Okay, it's one round forcing. Okay, and one no, it says, hey, partner, I've got no fit. I've got a balanced hand. I've got two cards support in your suit. I've got a Y blocker, because it's an overcall in there somewhere, and six to nine high card points. But again, very standard. So we're seeing that this is kind of a mixture of conventional bids and special purpose bids in standard American. So the next one is 2x. Well, what's 2x? Well, we're raising our opener's bid suit. Okay, if it's a major, we're promising three plus card support and six, six to nine distribution points. So it's an invitational bid, uh, but it is limiting. It shows six to nine distribution points because the, uh, uh, the uh, uh, responder has found a golden bid, eight plus card bid. If it's a minor, it's promising five plus card support unless you're playing a short club, in which case if it's diamond, you only need to have four. 
But if it's clubs, you're still going to need to have five. And in some situations, you know, might have only two. But we're going to just kind of ignore that since it's only going to have two four percent of the time. Okay, so again, this is just pretty straightforward. This is standard American. We need to make sure that we understand how the other little conventions we're using, like short club, affect what we're, what we're what our, our bidding system. Okay, if we bid two of, if the responder bids two of a new suit. Okay, in essence, it's saying we've got five plus card suit and 10 plus life points. Okay, this is very, very standard. Now, we're starting to get into some of the, uh, the special purpose bids. We've got here, we're going to bid two or three Y. Y is the suit that the overcaller bid. So this is a Q bid. And then the non-jump at Q bid shows the major, it shows three card support and 10 to 12 distribution points. So you see how that fits in conjunction with bidding uh, 2X because two, uh, two to three Y shows 10 to 12. Okay, if it's a minor, again, it shows five plus if it's, a, if it's a minor and you're using a standard American or four plus if it's diamonds and you're using a short club. So you see how these fit together. Okay, now if we do three Y, a jump bid, Let's say it's it's, it's one, one, one diamond, one heart, three hearts. What's that mean? It's a Western Q bid. And what this says is, hey, partner, I've got enough points. If you've got a blocker in, uh, in the, uh, the opponent bid suit, bid three no trump. Otherwise, bid the lowest available suit bid uh, available to you. For example, an example is one diamond, three heart, one diamond, one heart, three hearts. Okay, if there's no, no, uh, if the opener does not have a heart stopper, he should bid three spades. What this does is allow the responder to then place the contract in the appropriate suit. Okay, and we have the jump raise, which is three to four X, and this is preemptive. Again, this is all standard. Okay, and then we've got the Bergen jump bids, and we've got splinters. All right, so you see how all of these little pieces fit together. We haven't talked about the Q-bid before. We haven't talked about, uh, well, we've, we've talked about many of these things before, but I mean, we've, all of these things are stand, pretty well part of the standard American bidding system, and we're minorly tweaking them uh, by uh, adding in the Q-bid, double, Bergen bid, so you see how all these pieces fit together. All right, now let's look at the situation where uh, the uh, over, overcaller bids a takeout double. So we have one of some suit and a double. Okay, now this also can apply to the, to, to the two level bids, but we're just going to address the one level bids at this particular point in time. Again, if it's one, one club, let's say double, and you've got less than or equal to five points, Okay, uh, you are not obligated to bid anything at this particular point in time because your partner still has the opportunity to bid again. So again, passing shows less than or equal to five distribution points and actually five less than or equal to five blank points. Okay, uh, a new suit, again, it remains the same. It's a five plus suit, six plus length points, and it's forcing again. It says, hey, I've got something over that double. So now the opener knows he probably has 13 plus points. The overcaller has 13 plus, and you've got six plus. So he probably knows that you've got at least half the points between you. Okay, if you did two X, it's the same as uh, with uh, a suit. It just says it's a simple raise, same with the minors, same, same caveats as it relates to diamonds. Okay, now here's one where something comes into play. Something a little bit different, a little bit new. It's the redouble. And what does the redouble say? Well, we're not really quite sure what redouble means at this particular point in time, except it says, hey, partner, I've got 10 plus lane points, high card points, or distribution points. And my next bid is going to clarify what my redouble means. But it says, hey, partner, I've got something. It doesn't say exactly what, but it says we've got something. Okay. Now we have two no trump. This is called the Jordan two no trump for the trust cut no trump. Okay, and what the two no trump is, is equivalent to the Q bid that we discussed on the previous slide. It has exactly the same meaning as the Q bid. 
Okay, but because we don't have a cube uh, suit the qubit on, uh, we use to no trump in this particular situation. Okay, so because that also relates to the redouble, because the redouble allows us to then later show no trump. So we can use the two no trump at this particular point in time to say, hey, partner, if it's a major, I've got three cards important, 10 to 12 points. If it's a minor, got the same caveats as before. All right, now we've got the three to four X is still preemptive. We've still got the burger bids available to you, and you still have splinters available to you. Okay, so what you've got is you're using the opponent's bids to actually give you the capability of, of better describing your hand. And this is how all of those little pieces fit together. There's not much more after this in relationship to the bidding system as it relates to the, the, the responders options. This is pretty much covers the entire water front. Okay, so now what do we do with redouble? Now, how do we clarify what we've got? So the second bid uh, by the responder clarifies the responder's holdings. So uh, if the responder after the redouble bids the opener suit, is saying, hey, I do actually have a fit for your suit. And by the way, I've got 13 plus distribution points. So if we go back and look at those two previous slides, we've got a bid for six to nine, 10 to 12, and 13 plus. So by using the opponent's bids, we can now clearly delineate and describe our hand to our partner. Okay. If it's a minor, you know, we're going to require the five plus card support, four plus. If it's diamond, you know. And now, if the opponent bid, if the, the responder now bids a new suit, in essence, that redouble says, hey, I've got, I don't have support for your suit. I don't have three cards in your suit for five plus or four plus if it's a minor, but I do have a six plus card suit. I've got 13 plus lane points. That's where I'd like to play the contract. If you've got the right values, we might also be interested in exploring no trump. Okay, and the last option here is no trump as a non-jump. Okay, it, 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 I should say the second last. Okay, it shows 10, 12 points. And if we do jump in no trump, it says we've got 13 plus high card points. So you can see how these particular bids all fit together to give you the capability of describing your hand in a very, very nice manner. Well, that concludes. I'm not going to put, I, I, I was going to put together a whole bunch of examples, but I decided I'd leave that up to you. Okay, because it's pretty straightforward in terms of how this stuff integrates with uh, what's considered to be part of the standard American bidding system, but then allows you to further describe your hand in terms of three to four card support, new suits, the more brands you have, and so forth. It's very, very elegant. Okay, well, that concludes the lesson for the day. I hope that it helps you out. And if you've got any questions, send me an email, give me a call. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.